18 boats on the line. And, and it's on away. Six away by right. About six down from the top. Fast away. Not sure who that is. But it's everything to play for. Garaka Chaya. From Argentina in there. Elvin Vold, red nose on his boat. Pedersen in the middle. Willie Hart Pimenta. with the blue nose on his boat. Great start for the young South African. Making a run for Pimenta. James Russell to Pimenta's left. Slovakian making a run for that V, and I think he's going to make Pedersen it. Pedersen deciding that he's going to take the group up the right. There's two different groups forming here. This is interesting. Predictably enough, it's Pimenta and Pedersen. Pimenta getting yeah. the best of it at the moment. He's going to come across in front. Pedersen, a long way to go to get across, and he's not going to make the side of Pimenta. He's going to have to slot in behind these front four. James Russell working hard, but effectively on the outside of Pimenta, and that is his ride to the front. Nice lane draw for him. He's had to drop around the back of Pimenta and come up his left at some point. We didn't really see that, but he's obviously done it well. James Russell trains in the massive training group up at Nottingham Kayak Club, along with many other the team members in the Great Britain team. So Pedersen did get across <laughs> to Pimenta's side. Not sure who he cut off to get there. But it's Pimenta, Pedersen, Russell, Vold, Hart, and the Argentinian Garakachea is there as well. And then a little bit of chaos in the back wash there. Ooh. Little bit of boy nudging in the rush hour congestion at the top turn. So it's that Hungarian boat. Kolos Vari, the white boat. Four from the back of that group, who was just struggling to get in contention. And now he's back and comfortable. So Pimenta, top quality. Yeah, he's become one of the benchmarks, particularly over this distance. Russell will be super pleased to be there. Hart will uh, be he's delighted. been there and thereabouts for a long time now, Russell. He's, he's made himself a fixture, especially in these short courses. Slovakian there, still in the game. Milan Dorna. Panakuk making contact again. Garakachea, Kolos Vari, the Italian, Matteo, Matteo Vitor. Vitor. Philip Jehoda of the Czech Republic making up the back of that group. Yeah, making heavy work of it too at the back of that group. Great looking graphic that. Pay money to watch that fight anywhere in the world. Is that Clinton Cook in the orange boat from South Africa? So Clinton Cook must be busting to go around the side of James Russell there. But the speed probably just too high to allow it. And Clinton Cook's going to hope there's a little bit of space for him. Just moving up a little. He's going to have to call it in a minute and drop back behind James Russell. There he goes. Big bunch cut, and, and that's now, Pedersen. Pedersen it, goes big. No, Pimenta. Pimenta going for it. Cook's in all sorts of trouble because of the check to his oh. right. Has given him a hard time. That wasn't Cook's fault. He's still he's still in the game. We've got a swimmer on the far side. Oh, somebody's out. Not sure out. who that is. I think, I think it was the German, Janice Werner. We'll get confirmation yeah, of that. Yeah, it is Werner. Into the portage. 
Pimenta comes left. Mads Pedersen goes right. Pedersen, the better of the two portages. He's up and away already. Russell goes past Pedersen. Longer run. Uli Hart's immediately behind them. Russell out nicely. But it's Mats Pedersen who leads them into the, the portage. Pimenta just behind him with Russell. Russell's going to get past Pimenta on the run, I think. Pedersen looking comfortable at the front. Hart just behind them, also in no danger at all. Pedersen first to put the boat down, then Russell. They're both away. Pimenta slightly slower, but still in the game. And those three are away. Hats off to Clinton Cook through that whole process. Yeah. Cook needs to find Uli Hart, who's his compatriot just in front of him. Cook now going out with Vold on the far side in that red tipped boat to try and get back in contact with that front four. But these look like the first six at the moment. There's also Kolosvari just out of shot. There's the white boat for Kolosvari. Yep. He's just taken <laughs> Cook off the side of the sidewash of Vold. Cook goes round to the left. Just flicked off like an annoying fly. So that's your top seven. Max it Pedersen comes through the portage. Quick on the takeout, first down the chute. Crowd whooping him on, as you would expect. Time for a yeah. smile and a grin and making eye contact with people on the side. It speaks a lot of a man who's in good form, in a good place. It does. And it's, you know, the difference between being struggling and being relaxed is such a fine line. Uh, you know, it doesn't take much before you're stressed enough for it not to be quite so funny anymore. So we think we lost the German on the turn there. Pedersen, Russell has been beautifully organized through this whole thing. To be fair, he was very untroubled. He was to the left of Pimenta down that first leg. So no one to his, his left to, to hassle him. So in some ways, an easy run down that first leg. But he put himself there. And he's top four and comfortably qualified as it stands. Pedersen slows down, Russell takes over the lead. Pimenta comes through. He'll come up the left of Russell, in all probability, leaving the V for the South African Uli Hart. Well, there Janis we Werner gets a taxi ride lift back to the shore from the uh, officials inflatable. It was certainly not the way he planned to end this race. A little uh, subliminal video of the women's Here he finish is. there. Still in shock, actually. Not getting much sympathy from the ITO, it must be said. No, that, that ITO doesn't exude sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> they do an incredible job here, but I guess you don't have to be mum, you need to be boat driver. Yeah. Bold. <laughs> Just said that. <laughs> Bold and Cook, top six. Hot tucked in there as well. And here's the swim. You're looking at the German in the sort of zigzaggy zebra boat, about sixth back. Gets his tail tapped there, but no damage done. And it's as he comes here, boom. No reason for him to go in. No hassle from... That's the Hungarian Kolosvari with him. He might just have caught a pedal against the nose of that boat as it, it came through. Potentially, it was too far back for that, I think. I think it was just an error. Certainly no malice intended there. Russell providing the machine in this uh, convoy. Uli Hart's been sitting comfortably on that diamond for much of this race. It's a well-organized race from him. One more portage, and that's going to be in about 45 seconds. And I don't think there'll be any motivation in these four to change the situation they've currently got. The front four probably 50 meters clear. Clint Cook driving the following bunch of three. Coming into a shot on the right. It's 
So as the lead group comes into the portage. Portage two. So we're going to have Pedersen go right. Russell Pimenta will go left. And Hart has the choice. He's coming left also. Pimenta goes around Russell. Wants to arrive first. Russell goes early. Early exit. Very tidy exit. Lucky not to touch his bow of the, water, bow of the boat on the water there. He would have had a little moment, I'm sure, as that Pedersen. bow dropped down. Pedersen cantering through, relaxed, composed, soaking up the moment. Russell, Pimenta, hot as they come through the portage. Pedersen, so smooth. Away, clean, like he was last time. Russell second in the boat, then Pimenta. Russell's got no intention of chasing down <laughs> Pedersen at all. Clint Cook, you'll see on your top right, he's got everything to gain if he can try and bridge across to where his teammate Uli Hart is. Catch a ride with the front four that's uh, chasing well, Mads Pedersen. Colos Vari got in his boat super quick there, leapfrogging Vold from Norway. All those three are going to go to the final, though. Mads Pedersen, who I think is thoroughly enjoying the opportunity to paddle at home. Poster boy for the event, which in, uh, in some ways puts pressure on you. Well, it? It, 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 it doesn't always end well, does it? It doesn't always end well. Sometimes that pressure expectation is an unwanted yeah. burden when you performing in front of your home crowd. Yeah, you look back to Romalo back in Portugal, Ponte de Lima in uh, whatever it was, 2019 maybe and it all just collapsed around him with a bit of boat damage, and it was a tough call for him there. Oh, and we've got some emptying going on down here. The yellow K1. That'd be the USA. It's going to cost seconds, which are going to be a factor uh, think, in this race. I think that's going to be a defining factor. There's yep. too many people in front of him. So those front four couldn't exude a lack of motivation any greater <laughs> than they're currently exuding. We're just going through the They motions. are just finishing the journey. The three behind them also know that they're safe. To be fair, they've earned the right to, yep. to take the foot off the pedal. So all seven of those will, without doubt, be in the final. Eight, nine, and ten. Should be safe. Need to have a little bit more urgency, but should be safe also. And then beyond them, it begins to get a bit stressful. 20 boats, remember, make the final. The top six from each heat. Willie Hart pulling Pimenta around the corner. Russell just behind him. Turned out to be a really desirable K2 partner as well. He's paired up with a couple of elite paddlers into a very successful K2 paddler. From a family of paddlers, his brother's Anders Hart, also a very competent paddler. Mum and dad are both committed paddlers and administrators of the game down in Cape Town. Clint Cook in the orange boat. With Colos Vari and Vold. So pretty much routine stuff now. As they cross the line, it's going to be Pedersen across the line first. Here's a young man who's played a profound part in the way that Marathon has evolved over the, the last couple of years. Yep. Kicked down the barn doors. Remember when, when he arrived through the under-23s? Yeah. In China, when he won the under-23s and then the senior. And what's amazing is that there'll be someone come along and kick down his barn door well, at some point. There's always someone coming. Do it yeah. harder, faster, better. 
Raise the stakes. You're only a guest at the top. That's what I've learned <laughs> over the years. You're not a fixture. You're just a guest. So across the line. Well, that's, that is straight into Garagachea as he comes across the line. So we've got about 10 people over the line so far. So impressive on that one. Obviously, Pedersen, Hart, Pimenta, and <coughs> James Russell. Sorry. I liked... Um, Down Cox crossing the line. Now that that's in a wait-and-see mode. Clinton Cook say, on that looked really well organized. He had a little bit of hassle on the bottom turn and managed it. From really a time well. perspective, this race was far more concertinaed, so you might be further down the table here, but I think time-wise, it's that's good news. This good. looks like the the stronger of the two heats, yeah. to be fair. To Muller of Switzerland, wondering, will I won't I? Do I have to get back into these wet paddling shorts a little bit later? Philip Jahora of the Czech Republic. Bit of a burn going on here. Andrew Solis from Team USA. Burning the water uh, with Jacob Chain from Team Canada. It's going to be a big ask if they're going to get to the final. Michael Klimo. And he's the last of the athletes across. In the background there, you'll see on the sides of Lake Jels those massive inflatable joists. Just part of these sideshow attractions here. It's for kids to climb on and have some fun. It's a bit of a chilly overcast day, but on the weekend we're expecting a lot of public attention down at Lake Yels. And that's just one of the things that kids can do. There's a host of attractions scattered around this venue, from Viking games to food stalls to craft markets to uh, sup tryout venues, that inflatable. There's an absolute carnival that's been spread out by the organizers here. It's, Pretty impressive. Just need the weather to clear a little bit to make some of those slightly more viable and slightly more attractive. You've been wanting to so jump on those joists all week. You walk past them every morning thinking, do you mind if I just... So there's your results. Pedersen, Hart, Pimenta, Russell. They were all the safe ones. Volden, Cook, Kolosvari, also looking pretty good. After that, it's uh, Panakuk and then Gara Kachea, Cox, Vitor, and then I think we're struggling then, maybe. So we're looking at 15... Down to Muru, there's a minute. And I think they, they can breathe. Yeah. 15.40 seems like a, a time to beat. If